to shift gears and move into a five-pointer games. The game that has sold over 25 million units across the franchise is CSGO by Valve Corporation. This is the map, Vito, and now let's see what do they choose. And it's gonna be Inferno! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a match between Yodas and the Crusaders. So currently the scoreboard stands for the Yodas. It's uh, 16. They have already won uh, cricket today. So, uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, they have uh, actually lost to cricket today. It was uh, really bad for them. Like, a match was really amazing. Killer B came with a comeback. Like, uh, he just had to score 14 runs and he hit three sixes, dude. Comeback was real first time. Yeah. <laughs> and Killer V finally managing to get a win. And right now we are watching the first knife round between Yodas and Crusaders. Let's see who gets the most number of kills and knife kills on each. Currently, three players down for both the teams. Four players down for the Yodas. Not looking good for them. In fact, slaughterhouse for them. Slaughtered. And that was easy for them. And that was too easy. Yeah. Crusaders and win Crusaders round. winning the round. And Crusaders have decided to swap, swap, so they will be playing as terrorists in the first half of the map. And let's see whether it's a good decision at the end of the half. So we'll be ready for the first round. But Inferno has been favoured for everyone. Like we have seen Inferno for such a long time. Coming like out to the team composition, only one change for the Crusaders side. Bumblebee getting axed or breasted for this game and Rex gets a chance and let's see whether Rex justifies his uh, faith uh, installed in him by his captain. Let's see what happens. Krish marking Ali as he does uh, Buzz and Pex are the brothers waiting at T-Slow to just greet him. But let's see whether he can take them down or manages a jump but couldn't pull it off. And that would be an uh, amazing shot if would, he would have like just pulled off that like uh, it would be a jumping Japang shot you can call it. Markelon oh, playing as he knows. Magic, the nice shot coming in from Magic, and he was just holding at mid left, and like he, the player directly like went into like mid right, and there was like no chance for him to survive. Like just one bullet to his skull, and he goes down. Markelon, while the player is actually moving towards bomb side B, the C4 is there. And, but no offense for the Yodas, they shouldn't be disheartened because Mark Markelon was playing, playing like his natural style which he plays. Goose King Hilton, he doesn't get up, he's not afraid of his opponents, trusts his bullet and more of his aim, which is quite excellent. And Pexa gets a kill on rest, but Krish takes down Pexa and Krish takes down Waz as well. And Krish manages to take out the Brothers, but Rizla, the only guy surviving for the Yodas. Let's see whether they can take But Magic gets a good headshot on Rizla, so Crusaders taking the first round. And let's see what's up. And well, what did they do for the second round? Well, Chris did really well in that round. He got three amazing kills. That was the turnaround, man. He got really amazing kills, and Magic also did like a good job playing on construction and at the mid left. Well, we can see some upgraded pistols on the T side, and the CTs have already purchased on S have purchased SMGs. This this wasn't happening at like the era of 1.6. They used to still go for an eco, and now everything has changed. Like people just keep on buying like on the second round. This is actually very risky. And this is what I love about the Yodas. They always play as a team. See, all the five uh, five of them have slowly made their way up to the upper house. And they are waiting to jump on the instructions of the in-game leader. And power but would be power in all sorts of trouble if they manage to get him. Power and he, gets, the first he shot doesn't get him as well. Oh. But one by one, the T's are going down. It's alone again. Rizla left with a deck knight, and he takes a bullet. He goes down as well. Only power managing. I thought power wouldn't be able to get even one kill, but Nasib unke saath thi. Unhe ek kill to mila. Finally, he just fired 
5 Mach 7 bullets and Mach 7, the bullets are real and they do a lot of damage. Even if you get one hit, you're dead. So you always take care when, uh, uh, of Mach 7 because at close range, it's the deadliest weapon. It's really heavy. It's really heavy and it's the deadliest weapon which is at offer. Uh, let's see whether Magic can get some yeah, kills Magic because he's just quite aggressive. He gets a headshot on friction. He is trying to get worse as well. Worse is low on HP and yes, he does. He has gone for the second one right flag as well and won't be, make, won't be able to make the third one. But meanwhile, Rex doing the rest of the formalities for the team. So all comes down to this most important round, the first buy round of the match for the Yodas. And let's see whether they can pull pull out some rounds from Crusaders because Crusaders having won the first three rounds comfortably and they are just playing, uh, playing very freely and they're not afraid to take their shots which is quite a good sign for the Crusaders and let's see whether the Yodhas can be able to take them down this time. Krish with his op and Sat survived the molly. I thought he would be losing some HP but it was not a proper was, molly. He, he, he has been like on very low HP like at the start of the game. He is the C4. Might be the C4 would have been spotted at mid. So there might be few calls at the early stage of this game. And Yodhas have gone, uh, Crusaders have gone in for a, a buy which I am amused because Rex and Power are playing with the SMGs and Power is playing with his Max 7 and Rex with SMG and he's been taken down by Markelon. Markelon oh, doing what he does smoke. best and Markelon taking down Risk and let's see whether he can get some more kills and get the round for Yudas and get the scoreboard ticking for Yudas. But the T's have already made an entry to the uh, um, at mid. There's only one player who is just uh, scouting still at the alley just for just waiting for a backstab to come in. That is friction over there and he gets flashed but he will be moving back. So still Krish is just holding alley and the Molly would stop friction to come out of the come out of his position. And that was a good uh, Molly by Krish but Markelon takes on magic. One more kill for Markelon. Let's see whether he can continue this form and can, and can get one more kill for his power team. And power! On the website, he does a mistake by pulling that flash out. It's Krish alone left in a 1v3 situation. And let's see whether he can pull this off. Krish, can he do it for his team? He is... Great, but Rizla with a nice reply gives, gives him a headshot. This is really amazing. Nice comeback coming in from Yodhas. And Yodas finally managed to get one round and Markelon firing for them, getting two kills. And if he fires, the Yodas uh, have a winning percentage which is higher, seeing the seeing his performance, seeing the stats. If Markelon fires, Yodas win up mostly all their matches. Definitely, yeah. Definitely. Because he's the most uh, uh, in, informed player currently and power is down on HP and he's taken down again by Rizla. Rizla, Rizla Aishan getting two kills out there, taking out Krish and Power and hunting for his turkey here. He has spotted one guy at the side, which is Kavich. Let's see whether he can take down Kavich, but no, he's going for going in for the molly, which is the right thing to do. And Markelon coming in for support and Kavich will be hunted down shortly, but he managed to get Markelon. Markelon, let's see whether Rizla can get his, get his kill, but he has inflicted damage onto Rizla and finally he surrenders to Pexer, but Magic getting the kill on Rizla and it's a 2v2 round with the Bhatia brothers for the Yodas and Magic and Rex for the Crusaders. We might see a good call coming in from the Yodas because these three brothers are really good and like they have played for, for the country as well. They have played with three Crusaders uh, and they were playing uh, like, the, the, like many years ago. The game. And the captain doing it very smartly for the Yodas and Vaz and Pexa, the brothers. And 90% of the time they would win this round because there's no scope of miscommunication between them because they are doing it because they're doing this professionally from the past 10 years and and the what what you can call the communication between the brothers, you know how two brothers communicate. But Kavish pulls him down, giving him a nice headshot with the CZ. He goes down. And he might be coming back, but no, Markelon with the reply. Markelon with the second one, and the third one as well. 
Nice headshot coming in from Marklon. It's a, it's a 4 week 2 situation now. Marklon already with 3 kills. This is amazing. He is going insane. And for the first time, we are seeing Markel on going on song from the right from the first round. Otherwise, he takes some time to settle into his position or his role. But he's doing it right from the start, which is a good sign for Yudhas. And let's see whether he can get the remaining two kills or will someone else contribute and do the killing instead of him. And Krish and Power would be saving for this round. And let's see whether they can drop some weapons from the Yudhas or just collect a gun for the next round. And Power just with his shot is marking construction right there. And there's no one coming in yet. And they are going for the hunt now. They are they are rushing banana and Krish will be in deep trouble now. Did he get the kill on Fexa? No, he doesn't. And Fexa takes on Krish. The only guy surviving is Power, and no one has gone to the CT base. So Power, you have to stay alone. And so why? Why is he saving? He can just go and die because there is no reason he doesn't has any. Dying economy. is never an option, Jairin. There's only there's always hope for survival. I do agree with that, but he didn't have any armor or anything expensive to just save in that round. So, what I expected is like he should have gone for it. No, but he knows that he that the bullets are not firing for him. Is is not getting those headshots, and there are four players alive on the Yoda side, and they'll take him down easily because he he didn't have much armor and HP and a pistol, which was quite unfavorable for him. So he did the right thing. Waiting and uh, uh, saving because it's why give some more money to the Crusaders or to the Yodas, my bad. So currently, Yodas with a nice comeback at the 3v3 scoreline that is happening right now. All the players are with the rifle, there is no snipers on any of them. You can call the assault, you can call this an assault lawn because all the Crusaders are players of Crusaders playing with the M4s and Yodas with their. AKs and uh, let's see who wins this round and Magic doing some uh, dance moves out there and trying to spot somebody but didn't get any info and uh, switching towards the uh, art side but he has heard something there and has come back again and Power just hiding behind the smoke and he would find Spectre. But does spot him. Now Power just falling back to the arch for the retreat. He is just gonna save and a perfect smoke coming in. He is now playing a little bit aggressive just to confuse them. Hmm, but he has given much info to Pegza and Pegza knows that he has switched to mid to left. And that is why he took an open shot. He pre-fired at the library side but he couldn't find power. But that and was actually a fake from Pegza. The, the keys are already waiting outside the alley. Just they are waiting for the perfect moment to enter the bomb site. And there this goes. Rex picks down one. Magic with the second one. And this is going insane. 2v5 situation instantly made but Pexar is coming for a backstab from there and he just manages to pull one guy down but magic with some magic picks down four frags easily and you can call this a pure street fight round because uh, the magic was standing alone holding his foot and they like ow <laughs> let's <laughs> let's fight and he tries to uh, get a, a good amount of kill he got three kills out over there so a good round from magic but Yodas did use their flash as well and they have had literally no vision because there were smokes all around the park and they couldn't get any kills and that's how they lost the round and Magic and Rex just marking their way and marking Ali very aggressively and just keep to the smokes. Magic, the don't work twice, you don't, you shouldn't uh, fire to smoke always but but what should they have, they have done is like uh, if you just noticed uh, the earlier round they already went in with the mollies and everything for the last round. They already threw mollies at the early stage. Like there was like no after they didn't have like much to execute for the later later uh, part of the. Uh, yeah, they wasted the, the resources yeah. at the start, so they didn't have much, uh, much left to play with mm -hmm. at the end of the round. Uh, unlike the CT, they are using, they are using the resources wonderfully well and see as I speak. They have mullet mid and have stopped the rush of Yodas. Markelon being taken down as despite for the Crusaders. Markelon is a uh, informed player for the Yodas currently, but he has been taken down. And let's see whether his teammates can pull it, pull this round uh, without him. Well, they, the T's are now playing very, very aggressively at mid. They have already pushed uh, from mid right to the bomb site, and Power is just waiting at the pitch. He is just waiting for the perfect time, the T's to enter, and he is banned by the flash. But he might get few kills in here. He goes for the first and the second frag as well. Friction did get two kills, but that wasn't 
this is really unlike yodas they are they are they are not yet settled in and they are not using the resources i'm talking about the resources resources are very important to use in this kind of matches Mollies, they they try smokes, to flashes. yeah smokes flashes they try to enter the mid to right side house side without even mauling or smoking the pits not even a single resource was used in the pit where power was there they just used a flashbang and the single flashbang won't blind him for long and that is how he managed to get the two kills and magic take an open shot such is the confidence installed in him by the round which he pulled out at uh, the banana that is second open shot he gets a shot on pexa that, that, that was a good was shot from that it would just connect no but yeah it does connects to friction he goes on that the lead and magic with another four kills this guy is just going crazy he is He's insane. He has already Man. shown his performance and in like previous few rounds, and again this round he went crazy with all those flags, man. He man, took four easy flags. This is just frags. crazy for me. It's just brutal assault from Magic right now. He's showing that he is here to stay, and and he cannot be taken lightly. Crash with an open shot at mid, but doesn't spot anyone. Koi nii hai. There's was hiding there, but I guess he won't be. He won't they be peeking. He won't. And yes, Chris does pick was. And was giving into the temptation of marking of passing on info and dying. And the brother comes here for an revenge, and yes, he does take the revenge for his brother. Oh, and he takes the revenge for his brother. Sabka badla liya hai. Hi, badla hoga. It's a four v four situation. It's still equal for both the teams, and the teams. They do have resources to work with and to like enter side properly this time. They do have flashes, smokes, and a single molly. A single molly. <laughs> I like that word. A single molly. And Yodas yes. managing to get mid without taking any hit or casualties. The Crusaders right. playing it it's safe, really marking it from behind. Time of the switch, and he goes down. Bad timing on that switch. Rex and Pexer. Oh my God! Insane move by Pexer. He pulls down two frags easily, and Kavish also. Making the same move, and two frags for him. Power well, was caught really out of position out over there. I don't know what he was marking. Or there's no one coming at mid to right, so you need to shift your vision to mid to left. But he 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 couldn't do it. The reflex was was slow by power, and that is how it is the story of this round. Magic. I guess he would be going in for this round because his he's playing a little bit. Yeah, he's feeling like really well, and he, he should be going in. The players fought him, and friction takes him down. And you can call that a commentator's curse or the caster's curse. Magic is not able to inflict any damage whatsoever to, to the two surviving players of the Yodas, and they lose this round. The score line stands six games to four, with Crusaders having a advantage of two rounds. Rex is going to go for an eco. He has dropped an off for Krish, but yeah, he is now taking a CZ for himself. But not much resources coming in from the T side. They do not have like uh, all the players don't have like smokes. I can't see a single grenade on their side to damage like just uh, if someone is pushing or if the opper has tagged someone to confirm the kill. There is no. I guess uh, they are grenades. very low on the economy. They are trying to save it for the next round because they don't want to go all in because sometimes you can get broke. Mm -hmm. So a wise thing to do but nonetheless nades are very useful in some crunch situations where you are in a 1v1 scenario and uh, and your team has passed uh, have has passed them in for that many isko do goli mari hai so a nade mm. would be very useful out over there but nonetheless they have enough resources to capture any side because rizla has his molly to flash banks and they are depending on the flash and smokes not uh, depending on the damage uh, inventories and makelon has popped up his smoke and he has Probably smoke to the house side, and Chris has been backstabbed by Pexer out over here. Magic has been taken down by Friction. A 3v3 scene right now, and Kavish is in deep trouble. He doesn't have any info. He, he can't see anything. He's being blinded by the smoke, and he's sitting quietly like a quiet child, and he's just waiting for them to show up. And Rizla gets a kill on Kavish. Jumps and gets that kill on Kavish, but Power just takes manages to take down one, and Rex goes down as well. This is not looking good. For them, the economy has been destroyed. They have to go for an eco, and they should not buy a single thing oh. because very exciting match going neck mm -hmm. to neck. And Crusaders are at six rounds, and Yudas at five. Four rounds remain. Let's see who can take most of this out of this four rounds. And was with his SMG. But still, it's a ni nice neck to neck competition between both of them. Like 65 is not a bad scoreline. 
So, but still on the city side, they have to go for more for the sport. And they also have the advantage that you, you can call it a mental advantage that yeah, we are at the lead. So it does a good, uh, it can install a good amount of confidence in you. That you are ahead of something at least. It's better, uh, it's, it won't make that much of a difference, but yeah, it's something to help with the mental cost, your state of thinking. And Krish is... He's holding Arch safely because he just has a deagle and power again buying a Mag 7. Power, the Mag 7 is not working for you brother, so you need to switch it as ace. He already yeah. has like one kill on Buzz with that Mag 7. But let's see. He has used 10 bullets for it. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, let's hope he, he could at least justify the price tag of that weapon. And Friction just would be smoking the CT base and would be giving them an indication that we are rushing banana but no it's actually a nice a fake smoke so there is no rotation but instead there the one guy has made a rotation to bomb set B and this would be a nice uh, nice moment for the for the team to just move clearly on bomb site it is clear for them and meanwhile power going down by Mark Lon. And Crusaders so is looking good for the T's and the C4 has gone down. It's a 3v4 situation. The CTs are on pistols and few armors. And well, Yodas Chris are just yeah. faking it and making it. They, they, it was a nice fake by the Yodas. Friction getting two kills on Chris and Magic. So good work there by Friction. A proper, what do you call it? A proper B fake done by Friction out over there. Proper, he just smoked the CT base. And he gives them an indication seven. that we are coming. We are coming all guns blazing towards the B side. But as Awaini, they entered mid. Mid Shaake, they could capture the B side easily because it was a 4v2 situation out there. Kavish and Power couldn't hold for long. Well, a tactical pause has been called out by Kavish. A nice decision made. They need to change their strategy. There's something going wrong in their strategy. So they are, he has to come up. He is the in-game leader. For the team, it's a nice, uh, it's a good thing by Kavish taking a tactical pause. He, he he just want to tell them that this is going to happen. Don't switch too fast because if you take a tactical pause a little late, then you run more than one round, which is not a good thing to do. So Kavish has a good pause, tactical pause. Liya. He's like, this is going to be careful, be agile, be alert. Until you have two or three people, you don't have to switch. Nahi hona. And same would be like Yoda. They, they would be like, huh, you know, I don't know. But have they taken a pause? But again, uh, two CZs, uh, 157, and two default pistols. Well, let's see like, what changes can be done by the Crusaders for this half. There is some nice strategy. From if there is some nice strategy from them, this would work good for them because they need all the rounds for them. Like nine to six can be a good switch because they at it's, least it's need a, a cushion of three to four rounds going into the T set because it is it, Inferno from the ancient times has been called a CT map. So they would be requiring a cushion of at least three to four rounds to breathe safe and to give a tough fight. The T the terrorist side the part. And friction rushing into the bullets. He goes down and Rizla with two frags. Nice two frags coming in by Rizla. Both of them were headshots. Well, meanwhile, Magic showing some magic on some part of the map. Like, he just got a nice headshot to Wuzz. And he goes low with the HP. He's just six on HP. It's a 3v3 situation. And you has wasted a considerable amount of time to get the C4 back. The A side was clear. It, it was all up for grabs, but now the Crusaders have made their way to the A, A side, but Kavish taking down his oh, own teammate, teammate and it was a team kill from Kavish. But nonetheless, he well, couldn't Pexa survive punishes the Kavish, team. man. Pexa punished Kavish for a team kill. And Kavish just destroyed that round himself for his team. It was uh, quite indecisive from the Yodas. They didn't enter uh, after having so much of info that all of them are at Banana. They, they needed to get, uh, have a plant at the A side, but they couldn't because of the C4 was left uh, behind at the T base. Now they are carrying the C4 with them, and the C4 would be probably staying at mid or high mid or the alternate mid. They are rushing a banana again, and Matlan gets magic. Matlan didn't get Rex. Oh, so, uh, Rex gets Matlan. Nice trade off. Nice, nice trade off. Uh, 
the alley. Uh, well, Krish is now has Krish has now stepped up his game and purchased an op for himself. He is holding down at pits. He is playing actually at a safe posy. And friction trying to pass on some but info and trying to get an entry into the mid side, but let's see whether they would be going in like. Well, I uh, think power did spot Rizla over there and. The execution is gonna be soon, but oh my God, power! A smoke at the perfect time. A perfect time. He, I guess he had spotted Rizla out over there. Yes, he did, and also fired few bullets. And they might be thinking to change the strategy, but but Rizla is still there. He's like, I don't want to go from here. I don't know. I want to go from here, but no, he's thinking otherwise. He's making his way to down the small house, the stairs. And he could comfortably enter mid because no one is marking mid. They are playing outside from a very safe position. They are marking outside from behind. But actually, Pexer is making a nice move. They are actually gonna confuse the Yodhas that uh, sorry the Crusaders that they are actually going towards bomb side B, uh, bomb side A. But now they are actually making a move towards bomb side. The raise rotation has been made from the CT side from bomb side B, and the guy Rex is alone left in the bomb side. They would be rushing very hard on them, and Rex managed to pull down one. The C4 goes down, and Wurz would be alone on his side, just fighting for his life. And yes, finally he managed to pull down, but he doesn't have much time to do so. Well, the C4 would be goes going down, in for and the yeah, plan. the C4, C4 goes down. That uh, bonus cash that he would get for planting the C4. But yeah, he, he is alone on the 1v3 situation. He is waiting for someone to push from Ali. And yes, Chris just spots him and was is a little bit confused what to do. And Chris manages to pull out. And that was, was good thinking from Chris out over there. He he was not overconfident. He was trusting what he knows best. He just, he just, he uh, being a 3v1 scenario, he didn't try to rush it up. He played it safe, just marking, clearing all the poses, marking all the poses and passing info to his team that Yani hai, Yani, Yani, ha, ya, ha, hey, hey. And he finally managed to get the kill on Waz. So the scoreline stands seven, seven games to all. Let's see who takes the momentum match. into the next round. The one winning the last round always has a slight advantage going into the next half because they will, they would feel better about them since they last round. Jeete hai. And let's see what happens this round. We might see a scope war at mid, Rizla and Chris, both of them ops. They are playing a little bit passive comparatively to the game they were playing, but yeah, there were nice fakes coming in from Yodha so just to confuse the Crusaders, like what they were planning. And Magic is currently doing his yoga at the banana side. He's just jumping, trying to lose some calories out over there. <laughs> and but. He has made his way back, which is a wise thing to do because there's no casualty as such apart from Rizla and he just needs for the sake of it not doing any damage. So that's not a wise thing to do because nades are expensive. So use them wisely. And Markelon trying to enter B, mauled the banana side, but there's no one who's there to sustain the burn injuries there, but uh, a waste mall you can call it. Inflicting no damage for six hundred dollars. Like going for up like someone to push. Well, Marklon was actually holding towards a T slope, so he did hurt uh, Magic. He did hear Magic uh, just jumping over there. So this was like just a uh, precaution from his side, just to like molly it off, so he can see if there's any player jumping or just moving to his crosshair. Well, I think they are gonna go for the execute of bomb side B. Yeah, they are going on B, and someone has made his up way for on the C C T base, and no one has spotted him. That's not a good sign for the Crusaders and Magic managing to get Pexa and Pexa couldn't get any kill. That was not a good oh thing for Pexa God. to do after entering for the CD base and having a free run at the Yod, uh, at the Crusaders. He couldn't manage even a single kill and was taken down by Magic. So Pexa not doing it for his team there and Crusaders at eight games compared to the Yodas which have seven games and we would be shifting the. They would be switching their sides and Yodas would be playing at counter-terrorist and Crusaders would be donning the terrorist hat. And Jain, what are your thoughts about it? And how is it? Kaise ja hai match? This is going a proper neck-to-neck -neck match. This is what we want to see, like a proper neck-to-neck -neck match. Both the teams are, are good, really good. The strategy <coughs> is working for both of them. Like one uh, At one point of time, like if the Crusaders are winning, the other part of time, the Yodas are winning. So both the strategies of the players are working properly. The in-game leaders are doing the the job is really great. 
दे आर गाइडिंग द टीम प्रॉपरली गौर से देखिएगा कहीं जाना नहीं अभी तो रोमांच बाकी है दैट इज व्हाट यू कॉल रोमांचक मैच सो द सेकंड हाफ बिगिंस फॉर दिस मैप इनफर्नो इट इज बिटवीन योद्धास एंड द क्रूसेडर्स 8 टू 7 द स्कोर लाइन लेट्स सी हु विंस द पिस्टल राउंड एंड लेट्स आल्सो सी हु इज मार्किंग व्हाट एंड वाज रिजला एंड पेक्सा विल बी मार्किंग मिड एंड रिजला जस्ट playing aggressively and going towards the alt mid rush ball gets a good headshot on magic out over there get a second headshot on crash rizla getting two kills in a jiffy and let's see whether he can get one more whether well he wasn't being greedy over there and nice fall back by them like they they got two frags that was a perfect one and they had to fall back that was a nice call it it's like he went for one kill and he got the other for the second one was a bonus and it's called so ne pe suhaga So and Mark Lawn marking not looking good for the teams but they can still do much like Mark Lawn is waiting just for the players to move in yes he does spot players and he is now retreating back but these with nice aggression Mark Lawn missing those shots he just played a mockery of those bullets yes. and he didn't do any justice he gets a kill on Kavich and how in earth did the crusaders oh, they know that he was falling some from nice behind. power over here he has already made this situation a 1v2 situation was is really low on hp but he goes down by taking a nice headshot and marker on after making and a mockery of those initial few bullets finally managing to get two kills but that was bad play from the crusaders out over there they couldn't realize that someone is hitting from behind or firing the bullets from behind and they couldn't react in time and allowing Ma- Markel on that extra bit of space and time to breathe in and get his shots freely <laughs> so that was not good play from the crusaders out over there but the crusaders have taken a risk over here they are all like four with cgs and kavish with a p250 and an armor on himself so and rizla is just waiting for them This is a nice pose yeah. by Rizla. He would get a pre peek for this location, but <laughs> as I said, he moves back. Like, bhai, bhai, koi kuch nahi dekhega. <laughs> no one sees anything. And after giving the, so much yeah. of sound, they uh, and telling Rizla, "Naach watch ke bata rahe ki hum aare hain, Rizla. Rizla hum aare hain." And Rizla smokes the upper house, and he is getting the first shot over. We out would see there. some action soon as the smoke goes off and picks up, picks on the first one. Rizla goes for the second one, third one, and. Second kill on Krish and Rizla has moved in with the USP. He's going for the knife and yet he gets Rex. He knife Rex and Rex, Rex, Rex has been slaughtered out over there. And oh was getting the, that Rizla. was a good play from Rizla. It, it was like teri kya kelunga. And Rizla getting knife and a good amount of money for the knife. And you, how much you get paid for knifing your opponent? Fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. That's so too much of a amount. I could buy. Uh, I could buy many things from that. I just go home, get some nice drinks, and like go again, like get some nice food, pizzas, and all. And like get it. Like it didn't pay you for a whole day. If I get talking too much about calories, man, I need to reduce some weight. We both need. We both need to actually and friction and power dead for their sides and. Marker takes down Crash as well. well they now I think they just fall back from the situation. It's not looking good for them, so they now thought, let's go back. Let's think of We some strategy. We just done with the first half of the CS:GO match between the Crusaders like and, and the Yodas. The Crusaders won the all-important knife all round. The side to play uh, CTs. Yes. For them to enter the side, well, Marek has been knifed over with the C4. The Crusaders won the all-important knife round on the map in four no, which we keep watching again and again. I think it's the most favorite map for the CSF tournament by all the teams. I know. They won the first pistol they, uh, round, which was so important. Magic Mouse and Rizla were late. Molly from Rizla over there. But they start off with a big win. Ended the half with 18 frags. Yeah. Some magical performance, magic. performance by him. Exactly. And he goes uh, down. But he got good support. Magic, magic couldn't yes, produce. Yes. So Chris backed them up very well. Yes. There is a part which is needed. And then another important thing that I want to mention out here is today we have a new player playing in Crusaders, which is Rex. He's back and he really stepped up his game and did the stuff. There is a nice bike. Coming in from there, all the resources like and still Pexo so doesn't buy the game. Okay. And I'm still amused that they're Probably not uh, they're not uh, using their op because was yeah, was terrific with his op kills the other day and the op was on song for him. That flick shot that day by was was amazing. It was 
out of the world you can say it it was a it's a gamer's dream to hit such kind of shots and and you don't hit such shots every day so i should i think he should go in with the ops and friction firing to the smoke uh, and, and getting some yeah, damage on crash you will do connect on friction oh, but he has another back so it's quite even I for both you. the teams ek tu mar ek main marta hu it's like tag team like or not like tag team like it's like pehle aap pehle aap pehle aap and the last man standing wins and crash oh takes the damage, damage would be by the right and legs and crash now team tag team tag team tag and that was a good flash from rex uh, he popped the flash at the right time blinding his opponent friction and marker on getting flash by the say uh, uh, getting blinded by the same flash and was that a kill on rex so he just refired uh, to the smoke and rex couldn't get uh, any kill but he has it much damage on was over there was it slow on 21 hp it's a four so pehle bhai map bol aaj fir map and then knife man from the construction fir main bol sakta hu i think there are there is a molly that would gonna will that will be stopping them from entering the web uh, from entering the site and pets uh, meanwhile is on the side with the three shots on Chris and Chris coming in with a nice game over here he takes two frags easily the pets should not have missed the shot he, he he should have taken down Chris and Chris in the end just to help them with uh, secure that round if would he would have got a kill on crash there would be no one back stabbing them and giving them considerable damage but he couldn't sadly couldn't get the kill on crash so CTC let's see crash survives another day this economy kafi destroy ho chuki hai is wo kuch buy nahi kar pa rahe so there is no kafi duniya se hatash ho chuke hain mere paas paise nahi hai koi mujhe paise de do and but but they still survive to, yeah they still manage to take down rex with he was with an ak but yeah mark one with a deagle showing us nice deagle shots and people should go broke sometimes to realize the value of money aapke sarva paise honge to aap udate hi jaoge ek bar exactly <laughs> you you should go at broke at least sometimes so you re re realize the value realize of weapons, the value of the things weapons and you don't drop them in a haste next round nice pass a passive What? aggressive type gameplay from the team passive aggressive this is a word <laughs> this is a word for the first time passive aggressive <laughs> like they are just rushing and they just hold over there because they have already given a lot of sounds and the smoke would indicate that they are actually entering the web uh, the bombs at web passive side. and aggressive would be like you you, you just run up the uh, you just run up the alley and stop it like ha ha now passive aggressive passive but let's see whether the world is getting nice pose he gets a kill on power and Oh my God! He is taking a huge damage. He almost But took down Chris out over there, but uh, somehow, uh, sorry, he somehow managed to survive. It was Kavish and Chris and Kavish. Let's see whether they can pull this one. But yeah, no, Pexa takes him down. This is a nice hit for him being pulled by the CTs and he is the lone guy left. Kavish again in this game. He's the lone guy left. Some he goes down. This eco round has been pulled out by the Odds. It's it's quite amusing how Kavish manages to stay alive at the end of most of the rounds. You you cannot call it all round, but most of the rounds you can see Kavish surviving as a last man standing. Well, I hate you. I don't know whether it's his gameplay or he is given that he's kind of a role. The, he is actually the in-game leader for the uh, for the team. So yeah, he would be actually playing team. passive and he would be staying behind and looking at the game what's happening and looking he has to like look at the four other screens that is next to him so he will look at the screens what is going on he has to read the game from the uh, for the city side as well and markel on for a change taking the off and he but he gets a kill on crash that was a good shot from markel he had minimal vision of crash because the smoke Pets popped down in his beast take down to face kills. and was finishing the formal formality on coverage coverage goes down <laughs> again the last guy coverage goes down it's a 12 to 9 score and it's looking good for the yoda they have the momentum now and that was a good shot from markel on because the smoke just popped up in his face and still he managed to get a shot on crash he took considerable damage but in the end it was markel on who who had the last laugh out over there and crusaders sitting at 9 with yodas at 12 and they are just marking the ultimate side aggressively they are taking they have gone to smallos and work gets a kill on coverage so the in game led uh, leader has been slayed so let's see who takes over the role of guiding the crusaders home oh but power picks down rizla it's pv for situation power is low on hp but will it be still work because even was is even if it's low on hp the name would be doing the talking 
It's like he was he would be always in a power according to his name. Pexer holding on mid to right. He is just waiting for anyone to enter. Well, Magic is just making a move from the boilers. He can pop out at any point of time, but he would be gated by Pexa anyway. So, oh my God, he just left his pose at the perfect time. But okay, looks like he is actually going a mid to right smoke, and he would be actually moving towards mid to left. There's no one at the heaven there, so oh, you can play it safe. Oh, and comes in, and that would stop them from entering. Now they are actually trapped. They do have like 40 seconds to work with. The Pexar has spotted him, and Pexar, Pexar will take down Magic and Power in takes on Pexar, consolidating for the kill. Him off and it's a two v three situation. And Bird is taking a two with Rex over here, and Power is a backup for him. Well, he does hear Power is there up there, and he is on low HP. The C4 goes down on Pitch, and Rex would pick him up. It's a one v two situation. It's all on Rex. Right now, will he be able to pull this round? And yes, he finally managed to pull the one guy. And Marklon with that off kill. Rex almost did it for his team with the kind of uh, confidence installed in him by his captain and calling him back on the roster. He almost pulled that off, but he was taken down by the Yodas. And the, you can call it a good sound sense, for, uh, sound sense from Waz. Was, he, yes. uh, he just managed to get the info that there's someone coming up from the graveyard. And he just made that graveyard his own graveyard. So that was a good, uh, good sound sense from Buzz out over there. Sounds plays a very important role in uh, in, CS. in CS and uh, competitive matches. And Pexa, oh, Pexa and through the smoke, two kills. Amazing gameplay coming in from Pexa. The the keys are on an um, eco, but yeah, he's and a normal armor with him. It's just a helmet. It's a normal helmet. On crash. Uh, cricket ka helmet nahi hai. <laughs> Ye CS ka alag helmet hota hai. Aap. Yeah, just, but it won't be like I was just, defending him like I that was just much. Saying for the crowd there. Some, some like a helmet helmet kahan se la raha hai, bhai? Cricket pretty chalu hai. And Kavish. And three mall is on the city side. Like I wanna see like where are they blocking it. I they they will taking the house down. They setting the house on fire. <laughs> and Pex are waiting to greet. Kavish and Krish again and he takes one more and total of four kills for Pexer but Power managed to take him down. Power now has the end to can show us some magic but no. Rizla with a nice reply to him and he shuts him down. And Yodas currently running away with the show leading with 14 games to 9 and I guess it's all they have to win this because the kind of momentum they have taken from the last few rounds and destroying the morale of the Crusaders and just destroying them and Crusaders are falling apart right now. They are not managing to get enough kills, not even good entries to any of the sites and no breathing space for the Crusaders. These are now with a good buy but Pex are just pushing like Yolo, there is no life for him again. He is just pushing like crazy, he already has like two flags on his name. He has made this situation a 3v3 but Mark Holmes is still holding with the op. They are all on the B side and the A side is clear. They should actually make a rotation as there is no guy. And Krish, after investing so heavily in that op, couldn't even manage to fire a single bullet out over there. And dying without hitting a single bullet. So the op was, didn't work for Krish and they are caught in a tricky 3v3 situation. It's an all important round for the Crusaders. If they lose this, it's all but over for them. It would be curtains for them today. That would be a do or die situation then for them. I think they, if, they, if they, dying is not an option. They have to do all the hard work right now because it's not do and die. It's do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So, a 3v3 situation, Magic moving slowly now has given out the fire. So, they know that if there is a player who is going to enter, but Pegs with a nice passive posy. He is just boosted up on that box. He will pick down. Oh, a turn. But finally managed to connect. The last bullet on him. Pexa just multitasked there. He he just killed around. Oh, Pexa is for killing for him. one more. He is low on XP. He is now reloading. But Marklon completing the formality by taking a headshot on power. Pexa with nice four kills. This is really amazing. Well, Pexa is today's MVP for the game. He has played amazing, amazing Counter Strike today.
Look at his score, 26 to 16, 5 He's just looking him. like a, he's not looking at a normal Pexa. You can see the original Pexa, the one we used to see in the Counter-Strike 1.6 days where he was one of the best players. Mark my word, one of the best players, period. Well, Mark Lawn missing a shot because he was flashed from Ali, but this is literally do or die. You say do, 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 but this is literally do or die. If this, if any, they still have a chance of coming back because they do have rifles to work with. And one mistake for the Crusaders and it's all and over. And Rex being tagged over there, taken down by Pexa. Pexa is on song right now. You can call him Mod Kapua. He's oh taking anyone God, down God, coming in. His... Kills. Those shots coming in from Pexa. Oh, a little bit of a tag. Such, such, such is the right. hurry. Pexa is in his third, taking his teammates down. He's firing bullets left, right, and center. He's like, Nay, Maruka, Kere, Maruka. And he ends with an ace. Five kills for Pexa. This guy is crazy. He Check. deserves those hugs on Check. the stage. And somebody, some, uh, somebody finally managing to get that uh, crossing Check. the Check. Check. Kill, kill count of 30. And Pexa does it and Yota's winning it comfortably 16 games to 9.